Hello everyone and welcome to this video on algorithm analysis. So in this video we want to prove that n squared plus n plus 1 is big O of n cubed. And we're going to do this using the limit asymptotic theorem which I have here in the blue rectangle. Now this theorem states that if we have the limit as n approaches infinity for a function that we call f of n divided by another function that we call g of n then it's going to be equal to some limit that we call l. Now, if the limit L is equal to zero, then our function f of n is going to belong to big O of the function g of n. And if our limit L is equal to some constant value that we call c, then our function f of n is going to belong to or is big theta of g of n. And last but not least, if L is equal to infinity, then our function f of n is going to belong to big omega of g of n. So that is the limit theorem. Now let's go ahead and get started uh, proving this. So first thing we need to do is identify our function f of n which is equal to n squared plus n plus 1 and I got that from the problem and we need to identify our function g of n. So g of n is equal to n cubed and I got that from our problem as well. Okay, so let's uh, rewrite this limit theorem. So we're going to take the limit as n approaches infinity of f of n divided by g of n. And now let's plug in for f of n, n squared plus n plus 1. And then let's plug in for g of n, n cubed. So if we rewrite this equation, we get the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared plus n plus 1 divided by n cubed. Okay, so now let's simplify this a bit. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of n squared divided by n cubed plus the limit as n approaches infinity of n divided by n cubed plus the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n cubed. Okay, so now we're going to come down and continue simplifying this a little bit. So now we get the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n plus the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n squared plus the, the limit as n approaches infinity of zero, and I was just about to write zero here, um, but uh, I will do it step by step. So now if we simplify this a little bit more, we get the limit as n approaches infinity of zero plus the limit as n approaches infinity of zero plus zero. And of course, if we rewrite this one more time, we just get 0 plus 0 plus 0, which is equal to 0. And that's our limit L. So now we can use that, that limit theorem to check which case this applies to. So where L is equal to 0. And that case is right here. It's the first case. Okay. And it states that if L is equal to 0, then F of N belongs to big O of G of N. So, here we're going to put three dots for therefore. And we're going to put F of N belongs to big O of G of N. And this, of course, implies that N squared plus N plus 1, which is F of N, belongs to or is big O of 
n cubed because our g of n is n cubed. And that's our answer. Okay? So thank you everyone for watching this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section and become a subscriber to my channel. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. It really helps. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe other people will find it helpful as well. And as always, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.